What's up guys? We're here at Lime Rock Park for the Skip Barber Racing School. I'm attending, I'm a student today. It's gonna be fun. I don't know how much I'm really gonna be able to show you guys because all of this is kind of like proprietary stuff and I don't think they allow in-car video. So I don't really know how detailed this video is gonna be. I kind of had a feeling it was gonna go that way. I graduated. Um, so it was a very busy three days. I really didn't get a whole lot of opportunity to use my camera um, or even use my phone or anything. It was a very busy, very action-packed day. Each day started at 8 a.m. It was classroom track, classroom track, classroom track with very little time in between. But the whole experience was absolutely amazing. It was something I'll, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And although the class didn't really teach me any specific things that I didn't already know, the, the constant reinforcement of those things, you know, being on track and doing a lap and then coming in and stopping the stop box and then telling you exactly where you did it wrong and then you have to go back and do it again. And you have to improve that, but then you fix that, that corner and then you do another corner wrong, but there's a guy in another corner telling you you did that corner wrong. So it's the constant reinforcement of those practices that really, polishes your craft and I think that's probably what I, the, the biggest thing that I'll take from this school. It was very intense. It was super, super cool. The Mustang GTs were a, a fantastic school car. I wouldn't call them a great race car, at least in this form, but they were very compliant. They had a, a good amount of body roll so you could feel all of your inputs and how they were affecting the car. The tires were very communicative. They are Goodyear Eagle F1s, but I think a, a special blend for this application. And they were very communicative. Once you get to the limit, they start like a low groan and then it, the, the squeal gets louder and louder until it's a, a full on yelp. They were very predictable. Uh, they communicated really well. They were great school tire. And, and the instructors, I mean, I can't say enough about Eric, Mike, Ken, all you guys. I know a lot of you guys already from working with the team and Eric, I've known Eric for years. These are guys that I, I, I respect heavily as racing drivers and as instructors. So to take instruction from these guys, you know, Eric especially is a guy that I watched, you know, from the front lines, from the pit wall. I watched Eric battle with Tom O'Gorman for the entire 2018 season and you know, you talk about a guy that has otherworldly pace and never gives up and stays in the fight no matter what. We talked a lot about Coda 2018 when Eric had a control arm failure and raced Tomo to the checker flag with with one wheel basically not being held onto the car properly and, and he was going through the carousel like this at Coda on the last lap. And to, to have a guy like that instructing me was, was confidence inspiring. And um, if Eric says the car can do it, the car can do it. And before we close out this video, I know it's a short one, but uh, before we close out this video, the one thing that Eric said multiple times throughout the weekend and the one thing that's going to stick with me the most is how will you know if the car will do something? You ask it. You'll never know if you don't send it, so send it. If she squeals, dial it back a little bit, but at least you tried. So uh, that's not even racing advice, that's like life advice, you know? It's like a you miss 100% of the shots you don't take kind of, kind of thing. So take that with you, a little bit of Eric Powell. I'll see you guys next Taco Tuesday. We're going to Sebring for another race weekend. I'm leaving tomorrow, and by the time this video goes up, that video will be next week. So next week, look out for the Sebring video where we go to Sebring and we are in the title hunt. We have both TC, TCA, team and driver championships on top right now, but it is very, very tight. So come along to Sebring. 
and let's see if we can clinch some of these championships. So that's next Tuesday, so hit subscribe so that you don't miss that one. I'll see you guys next Taco Tuesday.